Good morning, and welcome to the latest episode of Through the Pages. It has been a while. Summer is off to a very busy start. Um, for those of you who don't know me outside of book stuff and YouTube, um, my name's Joe, if I haven't prefaced that enough, and I do some like food things around town, so catered a yoga retreat and been doing farmer's markets and stuff, and it's just been crazy time. So I am very glad to have some afternoon, morning time here to work on videos and talk to you about The Nasty Bits by Anthony Bourdain, writer we all love, you know, and I think sometimes it's un, un, not unspoken, but not, his writing isn't as heralded as much as his television, but his writing was the backbone of all of his television series. You know, they go shoot stuff and then he would write and then read that over it. So, as well as always being a chef, he's a writer. And that's where I, I think my love for Anthony Bourdain has really flourished over the years because you, you only get so much in a, in a television production, especially when it's on, you know, major networks and stuff. Um, Books like this, <laughs> we're getting into as the title speaks. We're, we're getting deep into it. So um, I've read two others by him. Um, of course, Kitchen Confidential and the other one, Medium Raw. Um, both very good. Um, I think Nasty Bits might be my favorite, honestly. Like, so because of my, like, how do I say this? Like, my dietary lane, um, I'm not super concerned about some of the food stuff he writes about or some of the like some of that it's neat to see the culture but to tell me that a place that serves a bunch of seafood isn't a great place to go like late midweek because they haven't restocked is it like what like so Kitchen Confidential wasn't as like eye-opening about the restaurant industry because I was just like yeah I don't expect great stuff out of, out of a lot of restaurants so I think to me I liked his take on culture and society at large in the nasty bits more so than specific to the industry and it's broken up into a few parts so like sweet sour salty umami like all the flavor profiles and I, re I actually read this out at that yoga retreat so like in between doing stuff in the kitchen kind of kick back and this is beautiful outdoor lake area and yeah um but uh I just love talking about that retreat. It was such a good time. Uh, but so he had topics covering all sorts of elements of the food industry and just society and things. Um, he had one that really stuck out to me. He had one on raw foods. Um, so you know me, I've been raw vegan for a couple of years now. And it was a fantastic take because it, there are so many like cringy books out there where it's like 12 smoothies to make you never eat cooked food again and it's like this that's not this isn't how that's done and like so he railed on some of those as you would imagine in his typical like vegetarian knocking way but the savior for it was this book raw by charlie trotter um a highly respected chef in, in the midwest and all, all around but so, and I actually did just get the book, but um, it is a jaw-dropping book of recipes and the photography, everything in it is so elevated. And that's, it's something I've been seeking. So like I learned more on raw foods through Anthony Bourdain's take on it, which is so surprising because like, he doesn't give a fuck about that field <laughs> like or vegetarians period. But I think, if he sees a chef really trying, executing, and delivering, and like, you can't just be mad at them. Like, he did it. He did a good raw book. And so, it was nice to see him be like, he goes that, like, that, that can be done. That's impressive. And so, um, I'm excited to try out some of the things, but I will say they are a little out of my league. They are um, really involved. But, um, yeah, it's nice. He's just, I think, what separates him from a lot of like critics or, or or like this is that he's he's not a full cynic to the point of being closed-minded 
And that's the key distinction, I think. I think you can be like the curmudgeon or, or whatever you would want to say, you know, like, or thinking more in like the vegetarian lanes and stuff and like the, the aspects of food industry he doesn't like so much. But while he might not be described as an optimist, he's not disdainful without reason, I guess. It, it's not just like, I've never liked it, never will. Like, he he's very, very objective um, and... I pray I'm using that word right. Um, but yeah, I really, I think that's why it always resonated because like he could pull punches, but it didn't feel like he was just swinging for no reason. It just, he just had very good taste. <laughs> so um, I would highly recommend Nasty Bits. Like, I don't know anyone who's been like, yeah, I've looked into Nasty Bourdain stuff, you know, watched some TV shows, this, that. I don't like him. Like that, never met that person. So um, yeah, if you're like me and the rest of the humanity who thinks Anthony Bourdain's a fucking rock star um check this one out it's a great way to get to know him a little bit more i think i feel like the shows as they went on um i think parts unknown would be the like last one that was a cnn one and it, i liked that show because i got to understand more of the world but i understood less of him through it and it felt like every time he did a project we got less and less of him and so as you kind of go back through the writings, I feel like you get a lot more personal and not just like rambunctious kid wanting to make waves, like really like, and not a knock on Kitchen Confidential at all. It's a fucking great book. But um, I feel like this, because the topics are so wide ranging and it's not narrowed in on just one subject in terms of like country or type of cuisine, that he covered a lot of ground, which obviously he's known for in a lot of different ways. But um, I really feel like Nasty Bits was one of the best representations of not only his writing, but him as a person, too. So, um, I, I will probably read everything he has published and cross my fingers. There's some posthumous stuff getting released um, in, a, in a good way. But, um, yeah, big recommend on that one.